It is a uh, how big? How big is the area altogether? Do you think? I don't know if you've measured what sort of two acres. All right, yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. And how long would this have taken you, beautiful men, to, to put this all together? Because it is a it is a spectacular setup. How long did we build it? Three months, three four months. Yeah. Ah, okay. Now I should uh, should get our names right. So we're we're we're, we're Paul Pasco and Chris Lang. Right. There we go. And I know that you guys are, are it's a it's a, a South Africa and Germany. And you got you got roped in by beautiful women over here, Ramwood and Delgany, I think, were the two. Oh, so we just want to apologise if that was if that didn't work out well for you, or that's been a tough call. But you know they are tough women, so you know yeah, in both cases. Right, so yeah. yeah. Uh, Pity they're not Spanish. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the weather will be slightly easier on you, all right. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, sh I think it was 2012 that you, you uh, arrived back. Uh, was it you, Chris, arrived yeah, back, and, and you just you realised that there wasn't a huge amount of work going on in this country. So that's when the the seed started. That was it a, a quick kind of get together on this, or how long did it take to, to actually? Well, we met in June 2013, I think, and then we started away straight away started to get things together, found the company. And then just half a year later, we built this tree farm. And was it a, I don't know whether it was a, a like a, a long journey into night, because it, it seemed like a big operation. I would have thought this would have t took, you know, a huge amount of planning and a huge amount of physical work. Or was it all joyful from beginning to it end? It was a lot of physical work, yeah. <laughs> Lots yeah. of and tears. Right. <laughs> And <laughs> I know that um, I know that talking to uh, Anthea um, uh, that would be Chris's beautiful wife. She mentioned the fact that that what you're promoting is, and I should I should read this out because it, it, it does sound impressive. But I know it's, it is always a part of these kind of wonderful places: balance, coordination, problem solving, confidence building, and a love for the great outdoors. I mean, I I, I would I would I would think that uh, for a lot of young people that uh, that's very important. But but mainly, I, I get the impression it's fun too, though. What? That's it's the uh, lots of fun. Yeah. <laughs> And and where would the where would the idea would would this have been something that you witnessed before and thought okay, this is something that we could um, yeah well, could do with in this I part was of in the world the, in this kind of business in the outdoor industry ropes course industry since the last fifteen years so I did a lot of stuff in like this in Germany already right uh, and you know between and summer camps and corporate groups and all but this. between you and the happy pair we're going to have a very fit healthy generation growing up it's going to be very frightening for the, <laughs> for, the, rest of the yeah, yeah. Yeah. for us old people trying to keep up it's going to be very very difficult. Now, I know you use a, a belay system. I'm not sure what that is. Is that a, is that a particular See, system? The clips that you're having there. Ah, yeah, okay. It's the self belay system, and that's, uh, it's, you know, German technology, only the best for our customers. Good man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then uh, Squirrel Scramble itself. I mean, is this, is this Squirrel Scramble, is this whole unit that we're in, or is yeah. that a particular type of. So this is all this, this beautiful. Is, the tree park is right. Squirrel Scramble. And, uh, it's one of our products. Right. Okay. And with this, when when you give it a name like that, is it, I'm guessing it's kind of a very specific design that you could almost recreate if you, you know, it seems like a very uh, wonderfully organized and beautifully put together piece of work. It's not random, right? It's it's very well kind yeah, of thought out and yeah. forty different yeah. challenges, four different levels from one meter up to six meters high. Right. Barrier bearing and difficulty as as you make your way around. And you guys do it every day just to make sure it all works and just yeah. to keep yourselves fit and good lads. Every morning before it opens, you're here. And <laughs> <laughs> and then the proactive. We should talk about the proactive in, uh, for for the summer camp. That when when exactly does that uh, kick in? That would be. That it's usually in June, no, in July and August, like the first four weeks in July and the first two weeks in, in August, where we do summer camps for from kids from eight to fifteen. And this year we're gonna do another summer camp, a proactive teen summer camps in June for those secondary school kids who have a a long, long, long holiday. Magic. So that's for then the 12 to 16 year olds. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Well, I know that w within the piece here, there'll be all the links to the various different kind of, uh, you know, uh, camps that you have and all the various different possibilities. And you're generally open. Uh, uh, obviously, the summer is going to be a, a much more active time for you. What, what sort of days are you generally open here? We're open seven days a week during the summer holidays. Wow. So, that's great. For the moment, we weekends, bank holidays, and all school holidays. So how do you two look at the end of the summer? I'd say you must look pretty... Uh, <laughs> 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 and I'm tired. <of> Beautiful. <laughs>